so before, uh, for each speaker, what we asked uh, each speaker to do was uh, to send us a picture uh, of something where, where uh, they, maybe they're, they're doing something that we didn't expect and uh, maybe not related to math. And so our first speaker, and I'm, I'm honored to, to introduce uh, Marion, um, it, it's so fitting that she kicks things off. And especially, uh, I, think, um, the, I think today's or yesterday was her birthday. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, so this picture, uh, so we asked uh, the speakers to send us a picture and uh, tell us a little bit about you know, what's happening in the picture and also how many Ignites they've actually uh, presented at. So uh, Marion sent this picture and it's, uh, it, it was meant to kind of show that she actually has a life outside of math. Uh, she, this is her attending her, uh, her grandson's, uh, Andrew's birthday party and feeding him some healthier stuff than his Percy cake. Uh, the train, yeah. Uh, uh, but darn, there is a number there. Uh, so he, you know, he didn't go away, get away fully from the math. And this is Marion's fourth ignite. So let's welcome Marion Small to the podium. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I didn't even rehearse this a lot, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to say muddy doesn't cut it. Um, it seems to me that when we're muddy in our instruction and kids don't really know exactly what we're after, they often won't actually figure out what we're after. Um, we do lots of vocabulary stuff. So take a word like quotient. Is it just that you want them to know it's the answer when you divide? Or is it that you want them to know it could be the size of the group or it could be how many groups? It depends on whether you're focused. We use lots of strategy words. We use lots of process words. So when I say represent, like what in the heck does that mean anyway? And do you mean the same thing with represent as I mean? Can you compensate any way you want or only some ways? We spend lots of times looking at kids' solutions. There's a whole bunch of solutions over there. But is it about the solutions that we care anyway? Or is it about the thinking that happened? Is it about the mathematical ideas that the question that they were doing was about? We have kids sitting there spouting out their solutions, and half the kids aren't listening to them anyway. Um, and maybe the kids don't know what it is that we want them to focus on, and so they're focused on kind of the wrong stuff some of the time. We have teachers sitting here working really hard to look at their curriculum and try to figure out what it really means. But when two different teachers read the same expectation, do they really read the same thing? Do they really think the same thoughts? And that's about focus. So I've taken a bunch of ex expectations and said, how would you focus? So here's one from grade one, solve lots of problems involving addition and subtraction using concrete materials and drawings. So I could choose different ways to focus on this particular expectation. So one way is, look at the two problems I have there. I have five marbles, some are blue, some are red, how many of each? Or I have five more reds than blues, how many of each? And my question to the kids is, which has more answers? Tell me why. I picked a grade three expectation about estimating, measuring, and recording perimeters of two-dimensional shapes. And it talks about investigation and all this kind of stuff. But what is it I really want kids to focus on? And what I think I might want kids to focus on is that the perimeter is a length, one length, that people like squish up into a shape. And I don't know that all kids think that. They think a perimeter is a bunch of numbers you stick together and add. So my focus is on why is it a length. In grade five, we ask them to read, interpret, and draw conclusions from primary data and from secondary data. And again, you have choices about what you want to focus on. So I'm thinking I want kids to know that when you see a graph in front of you, sometimes there's stuff you don't know. So they might look at a graph and say, what don't you know? about this situation when you look at the graph. Just don't tell me everything you see. Tell me stuff that's missing. Tell me stuff that's unclear. So my focus on the what don't you see. In grade seven, we ask kids to add and subtract fractions, blah, 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 blah. And again, what is it about adding and subtractions you want to focus on? And again, I think there's lots of choices. So the choice that I've picked, which is there, is when you look at B, D, and F, the three denominators, tell me which one is the biggest 
are you sure which is the biggest and tell me why. So I'm making a decision about what to focus on and I have lots of decisions I can choose from. Identify through investigation properties of slopes of lines and line segments is grade nine. You see I am going all the way through. Um, and if you look at grade nine and you look at that expectation, there's lots of stuff you could decide I want to focus on or not focus on. And here's mine. One of those is y equals 2x. One of those is y equals 20x. Are you sure which is which? And I hope your answer is no. So the deal is to focus on the scale and the fact that the scale is there means you know absolutely nothing. Um, prove simple trigonometric, identi trigonometric identities is a grade 11 expectation using the Pythagorean theorem. And you can talk about lots of different stuff you could focus on. But one of the things I want kids to focus on is that you've been doing identities forever, but they were algebraic. Things like 2x equals x plus x is one of those guys. And that these new identity things, it's nothing new, you've seen it before. So I think the job for a teacher is how do you decide where it is you want to focus your students' attention. Lots of you know that I think this is a big work of teaching, is to decide where it is you want to focus your attention. Different people will make different decisions, but my challenge to you is to dig hard into a curriculum document and think hard about where you want to focus.